Well, you're looking at a Sato CL4NX Plus model thermal printer. And we're going to load some uh, ribbon and some RFID on metal tags from Brady Corporation in this unit. This model is a replacement for the older Datamax H-Class, which is still around, um, but Brady is uh, updated to this uh, Sato model going forward. I'm just going to there's a few small differences in terms of loading materials and all of that. So this is the intent to go through that process. So let's begin with maybe, let's begin with uh, labels instead. Okay, so I have some rather narrow labels. These are on metal tags. They're a little bit thicker, right? They got a little cushion on them for an isolator uh, so that they can be put on a metallic surface and still be readable. And these narrow ones are really kind of a, a pain to keep from uh, sliding in the right direction. So you begin, there's a little blue tab here. You can pull that out flat. Take your material, put it on top, put this back in. Now, that's not going to work very well in terms of keeping this thing up against, you know, from sliding off. But it's the best we got right now. So, but make sure it's all the way in. All right, then we'll take our tag. We're going to go under this piece. Now, if you look inside the, the case, there's a little drawing. I'm probably out of frame here, but there's a little drawing in the top here. I'll try to raise it just a little bit. You can see there's a drawing. Go ahead and take a look at that as you do this yourself. It'll help explain some of the smaller details you can't see here. We're going to <clears throat> run this under the plastic piece. right? And then there's also a blue plastic piece here that goes under there as well and push it all the way to the left now out here you've also got an, a little tab you can adjust and slide this edge guide in all the way right so that the tags themselves cannot go in and out once you've tightened down the screw it should be set in place now um, I don't have this unit on right now but let's let's stop right there we've got something that's that's out like that Okay, now let's continue with ribbon. Ribbon will usually come with a little tab that you can come out. This model supports both types of ribbon. Ribbon that has ink on the outside and ribbon that has ink on the inside. This ribbon has got ink on the outside. So we're going to take this, push it all the way on so that this comes off the back side. Right? Then we're going to go underneath the print head. There's a little uh, metal bar here. You can come on the outside. Don't go under here. Go under here, right? If you go under here, you're going to be on top of the paper. That's not what you want. So <clears throat> now we're going to come, we're going to go on top of the blue piece here, not under it. Paper goes under, ribbon goes on top. And you can pull it forward, push this down if you want, right? And then when you come up on this model, on the Sato family, you're going to come up on the back side, okay, like that. And here I'll release this again so you can now pull this uh, a little tighter when you put this down. Um, we should be somewhat set. We have to adjust some uh, pressure settings here. If you look at the top of the printhead, you've got small circles going to big circles in this direction, and then you've got something similar. On the other side, so you've got a pressure knob on the left and the right. These are very narrow labels, so we want to go very light pressure on the outside, and we want to go heavier pressure on the inside. Um, we, you'll notice right away if you've got a problem because you'll start seeing faded text as it's printing because it's uneven pressure. But start with those settings, and you can actually start with like both of them in the straight up, straight. Uh, forward back direction. See how that works for you. If it doesn't work, uh, reduce that pressure and try it again. Okay. Um, and our final solution here is a little bit harder to see. I'm going to try to move this in so you can see it a little bit better, hopefully. There is on this gray piece, um, come back here, on this gray, blue gray piece, there is. Um, a little triangle and a line. We're going to try pushing that all the way in 
as it goes all the way in, you'll see it's lined up with this notch in here. And that should be able to then catch this notch as it comes through and tell the printer when it's finished one uh, label or uh, well, found the next notch and we'll stop.